Eastview's Media Arts program combines creative and technical skills to produce unique artwork in a digital environment. Um, media Arts uh, is a very interesting course. Uh, it's basically art, so uh, it has to do with more of computers, so bringing your art onto uh, the digital world and more likely computers, and uh, just using Photoshop to enhance your whatever art you're wanting to take. Media Arts is about like the design of taking pictures or anything off the internet and transforming it into a way that you wouldn't normally do just on paper. Uh, we edit pictures and make them look abnormal and fantastic and much better than reality. Well, we're mostly on Photoshop. Um, last year I took it and we got to take pictures of our faces and then become avatars, like morph it. And I don't know, you just get to do a bunch of cool things and learn all of the programs and all of those things. It's about um, integrating uh, art into our everyday media such as like advertisement and uh, just your day-to-day -day, uh, stuff like that and uh, film. It involves a lot of creativity and so I really like taking pictures and I want to do that and pursue it as a career and so uh, Mr. Hermes he said I should take this course. So I didn't, I think it's kind of helped with like my creativity and like how you can do so many things with pictures. Uh, me personally, I love art. I have such a um, passion for art. I love taking what I have, what I draw, um, what I visualize and just putting it onto the computer. I think it's just like the next step in art and just bringing that um, like in this, in this day and age now that everything's being digitalized. Uh, it's a great, it's a great way to put your art up and get it, get it out there. I like drawing uh, manga, like the manga style and the people you see in anime, like those that kind of style of drawing. I can most, I sometimes I can use the uh, draw like what they see in anime, like the flat colors, or I do painting as well. Like I just paint on the computer and use um, mixing colors together and stuff like that. Well, I personally like um, just painting better. I'm actually not not the greatest at liner. So my liner is always a little bit sketchy. So I like to just use a flat color and just like an orange or something. And then I put a bunch of colors on top of it and then sh kind of like shape it. And then shape it into like a face. Like this, um, for example, orange and yellow nose. Those colors are usually made, used to make faces. So I, I would eventually color it into a face. And then, for, and then the hair I'd do like little lines. So it takes a lot of um, zooming in, and, like you have to <laughs> zoom in really, really far to put the fine details in, so it doesn't look sketchy when you zoom back out. Like, the best thing is you can, whenever you make a mistake, you can just Control Z and undo what you did. Uh, when I start a project with uh, using Photoshop instead of Canvas, I, it, I seem that it seems that it's more free, and you just kind of just go with it. I, I don't really ha know how to describe it, but once you start beginning to get an idea of what you're doing. You just let it flow and you just create what you, your mind. Well, what I try to do is when we get him to sign a project, he'll explain how to do it and everything. And I try and think kind of like almost outside the box. So yeah, I do, I do all the things along the line of the project. But then also, it, I find like if I have an idea with like when he's explaining the project, I'll get an idea. And then with that idea, I'll think of some other things. So it's almost like I'm still doing the project, but I think way outside the box. And it makes me, I think it makes me more creative with my pictures and thinking of with different ideas of what I can do for it. I, I want to visualize, but I, I know that the end result will probably be something totally different than I envisioned. So it's kind of that, that surprising factor that you're like, okay, uh, what's this going to look like? I, I, think, I think it's going to look like this. But in the end, you see it and it's like, wow, totally something different. Um, well, it's kind of different because on a canvas, you can just like, you know what you're going to do and you can have like a sketch of it and then like work on the sketch. But then for media arts, you have to do it like from a blank canvas. And it doesn't always work out the way you want it to, but it's like you can always change it and it'll always end up like the way you want it if you work hard enough. 
It feels like sometimes school limits our creativity. So I found with this class, you just, you get the rules of what you need to do, but you can also add other things that, like you can do anything that has to do with what your mind creates. That's what I really like about it, because I can get out ideas and stuff that's not just on my own, like I'm actually, you know, someone else is seeing this and it's nice to see like the feedback and it just makes you feel good about it. But what you've done is like appreciated. All types of people take the course, it doesn't matter who you are. If you like to be creative, it's a great outlet for you to express that side of you. There's undo. That's <laughs> the most important part, undo. Being able to express yourself in a way that other people can and get to know who you are, sort of, in a way, and, and just putting it out there.